Hi everyone, this is Dave from Daily Tech TV with a very good question via email from Connor. And Connor is asking, Microsoft Word or iWork? Wants to know which is the best choice of application to buy. Well, the first thing is a very obvious difference. Microsoft Word is a single application. It's just a word processor. And Apple's iWork is a suite of applications. So you'll get in Pages, which is a word processor stroke page layout application. You'll get in Numbers for doing your spreadsheets and calculations. And then you're also getting Keynote, which is a presentation system. So a better or fairer comparison would be Microsoft Office or iWork. And if you're looking at Microsoft Office, I think even the student edition costs around about £129. And Apple's iWork, and correct me if I'm wrong here, but the last time I looked, I think it was around about £65 or £70, something like that. So straight away, you've got a saving. You've got a £50 or more saving. Uh, assuming you're not a student and you're paying the full price for Microsoft Office, then the difference is even greater, probably over £100. When it comes to functionality, people are always scared about moving away from Microsoft if they've been told maybe at their work or at their college or university or school that they need to be able to do Microsoft Word documents. Well, Apple's iWork uh, and the Pages application opens up Microsoft Word documents fine. When you finish working on them, you can export them out again as either a Microsoft Word document, a PDF, or you can save it as obviously as a Pages document. The same goes with Numbers. You can open up Microsoft Excel documents in Numbers. So you've got this cross compatibility anyway. Sometimes, I must admit, things don't go 100% smoothly when opening up the other format in the Apple uh, application. But for most of the time, things work absolutely fine. So my suggestion to you is save yourself some money, uh, go for the iWork application, Something to note as well, and I'm sure it's still available, but you can always download a trial of Apple's iWork and try it out for 30 days, I think it is. And, and then if you don't like it, go ahead, buy Microsoft Office, but I'm sure once you've used it, you'll find it's very, very usable and you'll buy the full version. So again, thank you very much for watching this video. If you've got any new questions, leave them in the comments below. Please do hit that subscribe button somewhere up there and I will see you all in the next one.